The Kai Ken was discovered in the mountains of Kai right near Mount Fuji. Believed to be one of the purest and most ancient dog breeds of Japan, this rare dog is a skilled hunter and highly intelligent. Today, advocates of the breed work tirelessly to build up the dog's small population, especially in the United States and Japan. In their native land, Kai Ken are sometimes referred to as Kai Yuni or Tora Inu. They've also earned the nickname of Tiger Dog thanks to their signature striped, brindled coats. Although these are purebred dogs, you may still find them at local shelters and rescue groups, so remember to adopt. Dogs of this breed are incredibly loyal and affectionate, which makes them a great choice for both families and single dwellers. This ancient breed does have high energy levels though, and could turn to bored, destructive behavior if forced to lead a more sedentary lifestyle. It can also be a bit stubborn, which doesn't make them an ideal choice for novice pet parents. If you want a companion for your active life and have experience with dog ownership, then this might be the right breed for you. A typical Kai Ken stands anywhere between 17 and 22 inches from the shoulder and weigh between 25 to 45 pounds. The male Kai Ken tends to be larger than the female, standing around 20 to 22 inches and weighing in between 35 to 45 pounds, while the female hovers around 17 to 19 inches tall and weighs between 25 to 35 pounds. With that said, some Kai Ken may be larger or smaller than average for their breed. Fans of the Japanese Spitz breed often describe their dogs as both stoic and stubborn, and the Kaiken is no exception. They're not typically jump in your lap type of dogs. Instead, the Kaiken is content lounging in their own designated space in the same room as you. This doesn't mean the Kaiken is an affectionate though. For the most part, it just has to happen on their terms. The Kai Ken is an incredibly loyal dog. The ancient breed will show small or reserved gestures of affection to everyone in the family, but they have a tendency to have a special human who's theirs. This special human is likely the person who takes care of them the most. Tiger dogs will stick by their special human side and it's beneficial if that human keeps up firm and consistent training. This is especially important when it comes out to strangers and having guests over in the home. Kai Ken don't typically become physically aggressive to protect their family, but they will alert you of what they perceive as potential danger. This makes them excellent guard and watchdogs for single dwellers and families alike. Before we continue, please consider hitting that like and subscribe button as it would mean a lot. Thanks. Kai Ken also need high levels of mental and physical stimulation. If you're active and are prepared to give your dog lots of positive reinforcement and attention, the Kai Ken may be the right dog breed for you. Kai Ken are generally healthy, but like all breeds, they can be subject to certain health conditions. While not all Kai Ken will get any or all of these diseases, it's important to be aware of them if you're considering this breed. Kai Ken are also somewhat prone to weight gain, and they have high energy levels. Make sure your dog gets at least one good half hour to hour long walk per day with a few good active play sessions and shorter walks mixed in. Since Kai Ken thrive of positive reinforcement, training your Kai Ken for obedience or agility drills could be a great way to keep your dog both mentally and physically fit. An ideal Kai Ken diet should be formulated for a medium breed with high energy levels. Keep your Kai Ken in good shape by measuring their food and feeding them twice a day rather than leaving the food out all the time. As with all dogs, the Kai Ken's dietary needs will change from puppyhood to adulthood and will continue to change into their senior years. You should ask your vet for recommendations about your Kai Ken's diet as there is far too much variation among individual dogs, including weight, energy and health, to make a specific recommendation. The Kai Ken's fur is a double coat which they will seasonally blow or shed. This might not make them the best choice for allergy sufferers. While the shedding might make it necessary for more vacuuming, it doesn't mean you have to do much more than brush out your Kai Ken's coat. Tiger dogs are famously immaculate as they keep themselves groomed and kempt. Their double coat shouldn't be shaved as it protects them from both the heat and the cold. As with all dogs, you should not leave your Kai Ken outside in any extreme weather condition or temperature. When it comes to kids, the Kai Ken makes an incredible calm companion. This dog isn't one for much roughhousing, but they typically don't become aggressive towards rambunctious children. Still, be sure to socialize your Kai Ken as early as possible in order to get them used to living with children. It's equally important to teach kids how to safely interact with your Kai Ken. Always supervise playtime between kids and dogs, even with trained dogs. Since the Kai Ken is a hunting breed, it is best to slowly introduce them to any other animal in the household. Typically, the tiger dog doesn't have many issues with other dogs, but their hunting instinct may be too hard to ignore in the presence of a cat or other small pet. At the end of the day, how well your Kai Ken gets along with children and other pets comes down to socialization, training, and luck of the draw. Alright guys, what do you think about the Kai Ken? 
Tell me down in the comments.